Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, Justin, and I'm going to preach from uh, Genesis 4 to not continuing on with our, with our Bible study. Um, chapter 4 in Genesis talks about Cain and Abel, and it says, so it says, Now Adam knew Eve, his wife. She conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep. And Cain, a worker of the ground, in the course of time, Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground. And Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock, and and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering. So God was a, God approved Abel's offering, but for Cain and his offering, he had no regard. So Cain was very angry. His face fell. The Lord said to Cain. Why are you angry? And why has your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? If you do not do well, sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Cain spoke to Abel, his brother. And then they were in the field. Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. So God already knew that Cain killed Abel. And now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened his mouth to receive your brother's blood from, the, from your hand. When you work the ground, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground and from your face. I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so. If anyone kills Cain, a vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Meaning this, if you do God's child wrong, God will seek his judgment upon you. There's no doubt about that. We should see that all throughout the Bible. Those who come against God's children, God's gonna pour His wrath upon them, because God's always, because God will always, and I mean always, protect His children. There's no doubt about that. So if you come against God's child, you come against God, and God's gonna pour His wrath upon you. So do not, and I repeat, do not come against God's children, because if you do, then you come against God, and He will, He will pour His wrath upon you. Moving on. That's where I left off that. It says, And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him should, at should attack him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. That would have been east of Eden. That would have been um, somewhere uh, in Iraq today. It says, uh, Cain, knew his Cain knew his wife. She conceived and bore Enoch. When he built a city, he called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Arad, and Arad fathered Mehushadel, and Mehushadel fathered Methushel, and Methushel fathered Lamech, and Lamech took two wives. The name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other, Zillah. Ada bore Jabul. He was the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jabul. He was the father of all those who played the lyre and pop. Zilla also bore Tubal Cain. He was a he was a forger of all instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Nama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. You wives and Lamech, listen to what I say. I have killed a man for wondering or for uh, for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventy-sevenfold. Um, so based on what what uh what um Lamech um or what 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 they're saying is um if anyone you know kills Cain, then of course um or you know, what saying is what what's basically saying is uh. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, um, then Lamech's is seven seventyfold. It says, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel. For Cain to Seth, 
also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. So, and that's chapter 4, of course. It talks about Cain and Abel. So basically, summarizing that up, you know, um, Cain kills Abel because Cain got jealous of Abel because of his offering to God. So Cain killed Abel, and um, God uh, cursed Cain, but Cain was like, God, and I can't do this alone. So, so God um, put a mark on his on his head, supposedly, and um, and God said, if anyone kills you, then I will pretty much pour out my wrath upon them. So what's talking about is, you know, don't come against God's children. If you do, God's gonna pour his wrath upon you. And I'm warning you now not to do that. There's no doubt about that. If you come against God's children, God will see justice for his children, because he's a loving God. Because he's because he because he because uh because of course to the Christian he's our dad, and your dad's going to protect you no matter what. So and just moving on from that, I mean. That's what pretty much the Myers and Chapter 4 is talking about. Is a uh, Cain and Abel, like I just said. And um and so uh chapter five is next talks about uh Adam's descendants to Noah. And um I'll be back with that. So we'll be right back. <laughs>